Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. REC has celebrated production of the 5 millionth peak energy series solar panel at the 13th Solar Expo held in Italy. In addition to this news, REC has also been awarded the top brand PV seal by UPD Research and has been recognized as the leading European supplier of solar modules by IMS Research. All this recognition builds on previous accolades earned by the company, including winning the Solar Industry Award for Module and Innovation. After entering the Australian market in 2010, REC panels have fast become the panel of choice for many local residential solar installations. Independent group Yarra Climate Action Now is finalizing a pre-feasibility study for a medium-scale sized community-owned rooftop solar farm in Inner Melbourne. The group will be holding a forum concerning the solar project on Saturday 19th of May in Clifton Hill with guest speaker MP Adam Bant. Under the proposal, funds to buy and install the solar panels will be provided by the community. An agreement will be formed with the owner of a large rooftop area to host the system. The owner will purchase the electricity generated by the system and the community investors will receive an annual return. A similar cooperative approach is already common in the UK, with green economy cooperatives being the most rapidly growing part of the co-op sector. From the beginning of the next financial year, Australian small businesses will be able to write off assets to the value of $6,500, including solar power systems. The tax reforms apply to businesses with an annual turnover of less than $2 million. The tax break will make an even stronger case for businesses to slash their electricity bills by going solar. Installing solar power can generate huge electricity bill savings for businesses. For example, a 3 kilowatt system in Sydney could generate savings of up to $1,000 a year. A recent survey of 200 residents and 34 local business operators near Capital Wind Farm in New South Wales found the majority believe the wind power installation is good for local business. 52% said the power station had a good impact on the local community overall, with only 5% saying that it had a bad impact. 68% of residents expressed support for wind farm developments in the future. The survey follows on from a CSIRO study earlier this year that suggests support for the development of wind farms is stronger than may be assumed from media coverage. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.